Welcome to the Jeff Crilly Show. And we are back with Sterling T. With holidays right around the corner, I wanted to share one of my personal top picks for gift giving and a way to enjoy these cold weather mornings. Brenda Sterling is the founder of Sterling Tea, and she brought tea samples to the Jeff Curley Show and is talking to us about her story and her gourmet tea. Welcome, Brenda. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. Oh, we're so excited to have you here with your beautiful family. Can everybody introduce themselves here? Yeah? Uh, Hi. Hello. My name is Sterling Myers. Hi, Sterling Meyer. So, Sterling, wait, that's the name of the business. And your name is Sterling. How cool is that? And sister is over here? Yeah, thank you so much for having me. My name is Kaylee Totschek. Hi, Kaylee. Thanks for being here. And Dab? I'm Stuart. I'm Brenda's husband. Welcome, Stuart. Gosh, so what did you guys bring us today? You brought us some tea? I brought your favorite jasmine pearls. Uh, Wow. And Thank you so much. Yeah. From the last time I was here, I knew you enjoyed those. And then I brought one of my very first teas. Uh, I called it Signature White, and the name just stuck. But it's actually a white Pai Mouton tea with um, Pai Mouton, pineapple, kind of an ambrosial sort of taste. Ooh, I think that's this one that I'm tasting right now. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. This is amazing. A little bit of coconut. It's not exactly a holiday tea, but it is a sterling favorite. And so... Uh, I thought you would enjoy it. I absolutely. Wow, this is just so delicious. And the whole room smells like tea right now. I just, is this how it is every day? Like In our facility, life? yes. And I can't <laughs> even smell it anymore. The third tea I brought is Lemon Velvet Rooibos, which is a South African herbal and it is a caffeine free. And I thought I would bring it in case you're not feeling well. You might oh. want to drink that. It's very soothing to your throat. And I used to give it to my kids when they were little, when they weren't feeling well. What is it called? It's called Lemon Velvet Rooibos. Lemon Velvet Rooibos. And Kevin's just stepped in here. This is Kevin. I just popped into the studio. I just couldn't miss out on the tea. I had to come in here and you know get in on some of this. <laughs> Good for you. And I have a little bit of a cough, too. And I think it may relate to this cold weather we have all of a sudden. So I could use something soothing. Yeah, give them the Lemon Velvet. Yes, Drinking the tea is the definitely one. the best part. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. So I want you to tell us a little bit about your story and have your family uh, weigh in on that, too, about the story of the tea business and, and, and everything that Sterling Tea has to offer as well. Well, in about 2005, I started uh, just some simple blending and packaging of tea in my kitchen. And I uh, took the tea to a uh, bazaar, uh, a little local Christmas bazaar at, in Rockwall, and introduced it and seemed to be a big hit. So I decided to, decided to start a tea company. And so I started a little tea shop in Rockwall. And then from there, I uh, started selling it to businesses. And then we made, uh, got a manufacturing facility. And uh, that's where we are today. And my children have always helped me with every aspect of the business from, well, they can probably share what they've, they've done. Um, at first, it was mostly labeling. <laughs> <laughs> and how old were you? I think it started, I was like nine, nine or ten when we were first uh, building the actual building. Um, And I did a lot of that through elementary school, through middle school. And then I started getting more into sales once we started sort of taking off. Very, very cool. And what about you? Um, My job really started, (coughs) excuse me, um, I was helping fill the tea. And it was very difficult because I would, you know, make a lot of mistakes and she'd be like it's okay just keep going it's a work in progress encouraging mom I love that I work with my dad's uh, small business and just the encouragement factor is so awesome and those opportunities where it's okay to have your kids mess up a little bit and just encourage them along and I love that and what about dad over here well I'm a chiropractor and I practice in Rowlett and uh, there's some free time and nights and weekends and we all pitch in it's a family business Absolutely. And you're located in Rockwall? Yes. And actually, my children took over the farmer's market out there. So if you're ever in Rockwall at the farmer's market, you'll see one of their faces smelling at you and serving you tea. Oh, very, very cool. So tell me about some of the things that you have going on upcoming this holiday season with the tea business. Well, we just finished Neat the Wreath and a couple other Christmas shows where everybody was involved and everyone sold. And we had a very successful um, markets. Uh, right now, we're just finishing up a lot of private labeling for businesses and for nonprofits that want tea and uh, want to surf and sell tea and give tea as gifts. So we're doing a lot of that right now and just keeping busy because this is tea season. So. Yes, I'm sure this is very busy. Tell me about some of the holiday tea blends that you have. 
Well, uh, of course, we have Caramel Apple Rooibos, which is kind of finishing up right now for November. Uh, I love Eskimo Kiss, which is a chocolate peppermint black tea, a little bit of caramel. And um, Rudolph's Remedy, uh, which is kind of an orange spicy tea. Uh, then we have Holiday Spice and Crimson Cheer. And actually, I mean, they're on the front of our website, and they've all got some cute pictures on there um, on the labels. So those have been all very popular this year. My guest right now, Brenda, with Sterling Tea and her beautiful family. Her website is sterlingtea.com. Tell us about some of the tea tips that you have. I'm just so fascinated with tea, and it's just such a great way to kind of relax or energize as well. I think the biggest tip I can give is to make sure that you're steeping your tea properly, especially when you're dealing with green tea or white tea and and even a really good black tea. Uh, You don't need a lot of tea, maybe a teaspoon or two for your mug, and then uh, the right temperature water. Don't uh, have it at a rolling boil. Make sure that your temperature is a little bit below uh, boiling, and um, if not, maybe even 170 to 175 degrees if you're dealing with green tea, and then steep it for two to three minutes. That's really all you need, and you can steep your tea a second time. But if you oversteep it or leave it uh, the leaf in the cup too long, uh, you'll get a bitter brew, and then you won't enjoy it. So that's, now, my, Sarah that's my takeaway. Mentioned energize, which I have a question, <laughs> and if, if I may, because you know I drink a lot of coffee and yeah. energy drinks throughout the day, as a lot of people my age are known to do, which I know is not good for me. But I've always enjoyed tea, so I'm wondering, do you have some offerings for the energy and or caffeine lover? Yes. Well, I always say tea has a different kind of buzz than coffee or Red Bull or whatever else you're drinking, right. and um, I think that. Um, you can enjoy tea at different caffeine levels, and even like black tea has a different kind of, uh, it gives me a different type of feeling than green tea. But if you really want um, a powerful brew, I would say go with matcha, which is a pulverized green tea. We talked about that last time. And then uh, a good, strong uh, Assam black tea would uh, be my choice for the most caffeine. And in the early morning or say when afternoon when the day is dragging a little bit, that'll give you kind of the, the pick-me-up that you need? You know, I get that from Jasmine Pearls, which is a green tea. So it really depends on you. But pick a tea that you enjoy, and then you'll be more like to, likely to drink it, and uh, you'll get used to it, and then you'll get addicted. <laughs> hey, and everybody else in the family, tell me what your favorite tea is. Oh, I'll go first. Um, I'm going to have to say it's a tie between black currant and revive. Um, those are personally the teas that I drink the most. I tend to take black currant in the morning when I need my pick-me-up. Um, it's sort of a slower thing. Like she said, it's a different kind of buzz. Um, but then the revive is what I use in the evening sort of to keep me up when I'm you know, wanting to study, but I don't want to not be able to go to sleep. Tell him her how you make the tea because you're in the door or you're in the apartments. Yeah, I know she just like said all that stuff about, you right. know, how proper brewing technique, but I just run them through a Keurig. Um, <laughs> ah, very interesting. Hey, I think it's a great alternative to the uh, energy drinks out there when you're studying on campus. Yeah, the energy drinks really aren't the best thing for you, but tea is the great, great way to, to change that up. What about uh, your sister? Well, funny enough, we have something in common. My favorite tea is the Revive. It's a green tea, and I just, every time we do a show or anytime, you know, she's like, well, you can pick a tea to have one with your lunch break or whatever it is, then I always end up going with a Revive. Absolutely. And how about uh, yourself? Well, my favorite tea is Yerba Chai. And uh, actually, I actually am, am drinking the pearls today, J- jasmine pearls today, this morning. But uh, yeah, when she created that recipe for uh, yerba chai, I had a puppy, and so I ended up naming him Chai Tea. So that's my dog's <laughs> name. But, uh, but actually, the, the way that she creates new recipes and creates the teas is just a fascinating thing. As a as a normal person who doesn't have the palate that my wife does, when she creates teas and she'll make five or six different teas, all just a little bit different and and you're tasting them and she's asking you questions and you're, you're trying to explain to her what you like about them. And then you realize, well, she didn't mark them, so I'm kind of wasting my time. But she can tell. It's the <laughs> subtlest differences. She just can taste it. She, she knows. It's amazing. And in closing here with SterlingTea.com, you have an upcoming webinar next week that you're going to be posting? We do. We've been putting together a little webinar, just uh, a PowerPoint for uh, tea newbies, just to give them the basics between white, green, and black. What are the differences? What can you expect when you brew them? And it's like four or five minutes. So be looking for that next week if you're on our website. Fantastic. Well, thank you guys so much for coming and sharing your tea and your tea stories with us. And when we come back, we've got the Bevs and Ash reality show where we will talk about reality TV and how they are mixing up. Don't go away.
More of The Jeff Crilly Show coming up.